<laughs> Welcome to Gina Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and it's Tuesday. I'm in a box. Oh man, how do I get out of this? Today, we're working on idioms. Must know idioms. This is uh, our eighth series in the must know idioms, and we're looking at three idioms today. Um, so the first uh, sentence is here. To test the difference in sharpness, the chef contrasted the newly sharpened $1 knife over or with a dull $400 knife. So, um, the issue here is when you're using contrasted, actually I'm going to use a different color, let's choose blue. When you're using contrasted, there is a preposition that you want to use and a preposition you don't want to use. Which one of these do you want to use? You want to say contrasted with, never over, never over. So you're always contrasting something with something else. Great. Moving forward, our next idiom involves indifferent. So for years, we were completely indifferent towards, against swing music. But now, we dance to swing music twice a month. Fun. Um, and so when you're using indifferent, same deal, uh, you want to use either towards or against. Which one is it? You're right. Towards. Indifferent towards something, uh, not against something. So you're always indifferent towards a thing, uh, not against. Excellent. Finally, our last idiom, not so much. So reading War and Peace was not so much about entertainment as, but about education. One learns the mores, motivations, and movements of an entire world in the 19th century. Um, so when you're using not so much, uh, you want to choose one of these words and not the other. The mistake is the other word. So you always want to say not so much about entertainment or not so much something as something else. Never use but. And so but's going to be a tempting wrong answer. Um, always use as with not so much. All right, that's it. That's all I have for idioms. If you have any questions or comments or want to know about certain idioms, leave some comments down below and I'd be happy to talk about them. Um, and that is going to be it. Have an excellent day and be excellent to the universe. See you next Tuesday.